we have finally got the planning permission to go ahead with our annex conversion. So this is converting that really ugly, dismal kind of garage studio, weird, architecturally looking lump of brick uh, that's at the front of our house. And we're gonna we're gonna convert it to make a really beautiful two bedroom home for my mum. Uh, it's taken us about three months to go through all the necessary planning applications. Um, but it's really exciting to have it off the ground. But I thought today I'd just share with you really what we've been going through for the last three months because obviously the design process is absolutely massive. I mean, we started off with a pre-app which you spend about 15 quid and you send a letter off to your local council just sort of feeling them out of would this be something that they would possibly agree to. Obviously they can't give you the green light but they'll give you their thoughts on it and we got positive vibes back from them. So then we employed an architect who did a design really of what the new build could look like. Now for ease of the planning application process we decided to keep the design within the curtilage of the existing building. That means the footprint is exactly the same, we're not extending it or making it any bigger. Um, we wanted to get rid of the quite weird roof line and do a flat roof structure just really because of cost to, to do a pitch roof would have added loads more money onto our budget that we didn't really have. So again, with a flat roof structure and the, the maximum height really that you can go for is three meters. So with those kind of limitations, our architects came up with this really beautiful design. So for the purposes of planning, the architects started off mapping out the existing building. So we've got a clear indication of what is there already. Um, and then uh, after they've measured up, they then do a projection of what the proposal will look like. And again, this is something that the planning office will want to want to have a look at. And also in context of the main house, because this is an annex building, which means it's auxiliary to our main house. It's not a house that we can sell off separately at any point. That'll be part of the planning application limitations. So we um, so we've kind of got like the basics thrashed out. Then we kind of started thinking about what is it going to look like, and. First of all, I went to Pinterest, which is just a brilliant place to get sort of like immediate ideas on visual stuff. And I kind of like put in the search black weatherboard buildings because I knew that we were probably going to timber clad this building. Um, and I also think that black looks really brilliant in a woodland setting. It's kind of really, really Scandinavian inspired. Um, also because the build was going to be quite modern because we were having to have a flat roof structure we couldn't do anything sort of traditional Sussex barn style. I sent like a few ideas over to our architect and he put this PDF together of some just sort of like key looks of the type of exterior that we'll be looking at which also takes into account the front door, the windows, all of these sorts of things have to be included in the planning application. Anything that's external and visual, even the solar panels that are going on the roof that you won't even see, all of that had to be submitted um, as a condition of our planning application. So it was quite a lot of work to do, but I think it's really exciting and I think it's going to look really gorgeous. It's going to look loads better than it did before. And then finally we wanted to think about the layout. Now the um, planning application, they don't really mind so much the technicalities of the layout inside. They just want to see what it's going to be used for and it is domestic use. Um, and again, that it is auxiliary to the main house. Um, so we drew up this um, plan here, which shows a sort of main master bedroom and then a kind of office um, to the side. Then there's a small bathroom. It was really important for my mum that she could fit a bath and a shower in. That was a real tall ask. Um, but we managed to squeeze it in. And then a really lovely open plan living, dining and kitchen space with huge, enormous picture windows that take in the view. I think, you know, what's really important about this house is the location and where we are. And the whole point of moving here was to live in the countryside and to soak up the seasons and have all that beautiful natural light and see all those gorgeous views. Um, and so we wanted to design a house that was very much around the view. So the windows are a really, really big part of this design and a big part of the layout. So that's all the really boring paperwork bit done and out the way. I cannot wait for demolition. See that horrible little brick building flattened to the ground and I'm really excited to see the really huge transformation that's going to take place. We're going to see a really brilliant modern contemporary structure, really insulated, really well designed, ready for my mum to move into next spring. I'm going to be sharing all of it here on my YouTube channel, but also do check out Instagram stories. I do regular little updates on there too.